Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, key science updates, including a shocking discovery about Earth's magnetic field fluctuations. But we are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun was mostly quiet. The SDO eclipse season is still ongoing, and the end of it is usually the worst. But while it was quiet up there, that wasn't the case down here. Folks, a little CME impacted, as expected, from the small eruptions we saw a few days ago. Folks, the stream was so minor that we've seen much, much stronger CMEs not even produce a geomagnetic storm. But this one did somehow, and my first guess is Earth's weakening magnetic field. And then the reports of the electrical problems started surging in the feeds. Folks, electrical glitches, electrical fires, both go up 10x or more during space weather impacts. We tend to see a 911 service have issues almost every time, this time combined with an electrical fire. But in big industry, the airlines are the first ones to take the hit. Now, both Spirit and American are blaming weather and operational difficulties, which is a rare event in air travel, and it hit two different companies on the same day. Hmm, maybe. What I can tell you is this CME was so small, it shouldn't have done anything at all, not even the geomagnetic storm. Let's start the articles here as they found a remnant of a Nova event that blasted part of its system away at incredible velocity. Stellar remnant hurtling out of the Milky Way. Excellent progress up next on turbulent medium and space molecules. Numerous scales and zooms as they have a number of videos attached, and it is key that they continue including the turbulence in these sorts of simulations. A lot of you emailed about this article yesterday. Earth slowing down its rotation allowed it to have more oxygen and triggered the life we know today. They say it was possible the day was only six hours long, and that after it slowed, the longer constant exposures in the longer day allowed for greater oxygen pumping and more time to recover at night. Then again, there is evidence that massive depositions of oxygen on the planet haven't always been so good for life. We now know that the greatest extinction in Earth's history started with an unfathomable, almost scientifically and geologically preposterous, spike in oxygen levels, so oxygen might not be the best candidate there. And also, Earth may have been slowing down, but she's speeding back up its rotation now. Been the case a while, and folks, those rotation glitch-driven fastest day predictions are moving again. Will we get the fifth wiping of this data this year if it approaches 4 milliseconds fast? We'll see. Last article today uses a new method to study Earth's magnetic field. Their 10-orbit study was enough to model the field, but it was also enough to discover that the common modeling of the field fails in a major, major way. The short-time fluctuations of the field are a thousand times greater than they should be according to the models, and they are just scratching the surface with only 10 orbits. Something tells me the study a hundred years ago when Earth's magnetic field was strong wouldn't have produced such a shocking result, but the field isn't what it was a hundred years ago now, is it? Folks, in case you don't know, it is birthday week at suspiciousobservers.org. Website is eight years old today, and we've got a bit over 400 fly-in-the-wall podcasts, about 400 hours. This is where you find all the videos from Yelverton's lab, and we've also got over 600 episodes of Deeper Look, short but deeper dives into what we see in the morning show. Members at suspiciousobservers.org are what allow these morning shows to come out for free here on YouTube every day. Sign up for your membership today. We greatly appreciate your support. By the way, 36 hours into the dry fast and holding. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.